we are going to jump back into the course and take a look at a couple other things. So you might be wondering, how is this class going to be organized? Is it going to be at the beginning of the week, Mr. Dirksen gives us a list of tasks, and we're just going to do all these things and check them off and get done by the end of the week? No. Is it going to be a self-paced thing where just get it done when you can? No. Okay. I would ask you to think of this course as you would a typical class. Okay. We're going to cover the content as it flows with the amount of time it should take you to do that. When we get to a good end point at the end of a module, I will assess you on it. It might be three days. It might be seven days. It might fall on a Tuesday. It might fall on a Thursday. Okay. No matter what day you see me in class, you can still do this type of learning. Okay. Our in-class sessions are going to be very, very beneficial in terms of getting some hands-on stuff, getting that face-to-face -face time, but they are not going to drive our schedule. Okay. What that means is our schedule runs its own path, and when you see me in class, we will insert the stuff we need to at that time to help you at that time. Okay. So what that also means is um, I have expectations that you are going to be getting some things done for me as we get into uh, this year. So first thing we have is the introduction to Honors Cam video lesson. That is this, okay? So if you are watching this because you grabbed the link from an email or someplace else and not through this assignment, uh, at some point you need to come into this assignment. You will click on this link. It is a discussion, okay? Um, in fact, because I'm making the video right now, the video doesn't show up here, but you will have access to the video right here, and then you are gonna be required as an assignment to make a comment, ask me a question. That's the first layer of communication that I'm gonna get from you, is you saying, yep, watched it, hi, Mr. Dirksen, this is sweet, or whatever you wanna do, okay? Um, if you're not sure about something or have a question, write it, I'll answer it, amazing. Um, if you have a question and I answer it, maybe I can answer the same question a couple of times. Maybe you can scroll through the questions uh, and then you'll see that my questions, other people's questions are already there, so you don't need to ask me that question. You can ask me a second one, those kind of things. But this will be kind of the first thing you do is this video that I'm actually shooting right now. Okay, seems weird that I'm shooting a video telling you about the assignment that you're gonna be doing. Kind of creepy. Um, so that is that. Um, we will have all that stuff done by Wednesday before we start our actual first module starting on Thursday. This is very important to me, this who am I assignment, okay? Um, for me to get to know you, okay, especially in a year where I don't get to see you every single day, I would love to have some basic information about you, okay? It's a very quick little video. You're going to have multiple teachers who probably ask you to do this this year. I developed this about six years ago and have shared it to English teachers, social studies teachers, math teachers all across the building. Um, and they've modified it and tweaked it and made it their own. Um, first of all, I gave you a script. So all you need to do is shoot a very quick video. This is like your own little TikTok, okay? Um, hi, my name is... Please say your full first and last name, okay? Hi, my name is Kevin Dirksen, okay? I like to hear that. That's actually why I do this. I prefer to be called Mr. Dirksen, okay? If you have a name, let's say your name is Thomas, but you like to be called Tom, tell me that, okay? Um, I love to hear you say your own name, and it's so surprising. My wife actually makes fun of me for this, but I'll sit at home, and I will rewatch your video over and over and over again, hearing you say your name, and then I will try to mimic that best I can, okay? Obviously, being from the culture that I come from, um, my enunciation isn't great for everybody's names, but I do my best, okay? Um, give me something you're part of. Say something you're, one, one favorite thing at EHS, at home, in your community that you're involved in, okay? Just something that's kind of you, all right, whatever it is. Uh, like, I am part of the girls' cross-country team because I coach girls' cross-country. I am part of the mountain bike team because I also help coach our mountain biking team, okay? Um, those are the things you could say here for me, okay? It doesn't have to be at EHS. It can just be at your house, okay? Maybe you are in charge of doing the dishes at home, and that's important to you. Who knows? Um, let's see. One thing I want you to know about me is this. This is probably the most important piece of the whole puzzle. 
Uh, this is where you get a chance to tell me something in private about you and your learning. Okay, it can be very simple. Like I'm a humongous Packers fan, and if you make fun of the Packers, I'll make me sad. Okay, I won't make fun of the Packers, just so you know. Um, I won't make fun of the Vikings either. So um, be worried about that. Um, or it can be something more private. Okay, whatever you want to tell me here that gets me a little bit of insight into you for learning. Maybe you struggle with test anxiety. Maybe um, you would like me to use a different pronoun that may not be associated with your biological gender. Let me know that, okay? Those are the kind of things that I can then use to make my learning, my teaching to help your learning become a better experience, okay? Um, again, everything here is kept completely private. So you shoot this. Um, when you're done, just submit it. Okay, it's an assignment. You just submit it, shoot, submit the video, click it. This is your instructions, but this is still here because this has been five years ago. It was brand new to people. And then turn that into me, and I'll watch it. I'll give you points for it. All right, last thing in this list is this Honors Chem communication form. Um, it was really helpful last year, those students who gave me access to their cell phones. Um, I promise you I will not share the information. I promise you I will not use it inappropriately. Um, I've given you my cell phone number. It's right here. I would, I'm asking you to use it as you need to for school purposes. Uh, and if you are willing to do the same thing for me, that way, if there's something going on, I can get a hold of you and we can communicate via that way. I know we can communicate through school messaging. I know we can communicate through email. But the reality is, is sometimes that's just not good enough. And sometimes you're going to get bombarded with school messages and updates and emails. And you're not going to see it. But maybe if I send you a text, that'll pop up as something unique, and that way I can help you better, okay? Form is pretty simple. What's your first name? What's your last name? What hour do you have me? I don't care what cohort you're in. I just need to know what hour it is. And then your phone number. When you do this, it's going to make you fill out the form in that format. Uh, if you don't fill this out, let's say you just go, like you use parentheses, and you try to submit it it's going to tell you that you have to do this format. That's just for my formatting, so then I can save that properly on my end. Okay. So those are the three things that I need to have you do before we actually get to um, the curriculum of our class, is watch this video, submit a comment or a question about it so I can help you with that. Do this, create your own video. Okay, who am I video? This should take you about 30 seconds to do. Fill out this form, which should take you about another 30 seconds to do. Okay, um, And really, that's all I need you to, to accomplish through Monday and Tuesday in terms of our out-of-class time. Okay, uh, We'll do some more stuff in class and get you guys rolling with that, but that's our out-of-class type of stuff to get us started for now. Okay, So that's what we have for that. Um, let's go back here. Now, each of our modules, okay? You'll notice that there's things popping up here that are going to be due. If you take a look um, in here, each module is going to be organized a certain way for you guys so you know exactly how to work your way through that module, all right? First thing you're always going to see are our learning targets, and I'm going to open that document up for you now. Learning targets is how I have organized my class for the past 15 years. What I do is, is I first write these targets of what the student should be able to do, and then I build all my curriculum off of them, okay? Normal year, I have about 10 to 15 targets. This is our typical first unit, 11 targets. This year, to help focus our learning, I have broken these targets down into two different modules, so you have two different assessments on this. Smaller targets, smaller assessments, more focused, okay? But this is what we're going to be learning. So we'll be referencing targets a lot. Like this is the target, this is the target, this is the target, okay, in terms of what we have going on. You have access to the targets here, which is in this folder. Also, if you need any worksheets, if you need any files, I will always put them with the assignments in Schoology. But sometimes it's actually easier to not be in Schoology. Sometimes it's easier to go directly from Notability to Google Drive or open things up directly in Drive. And Schoology actually slows you down. Okay? Because of that, I'm also going to load up anything that you could possibly need in your student files folder. Okay? I've already shared that folder with you. 
you have access to it. Um, I've asked you to link that to your drive. And the reason why you link it to your drive is in Notability, you can grab things out of it very quickly. So let's say you want to take your notes. Let's say you want to look at those learning targets again, or take a look at this mass volume weight activity that we possibly will do. Um, probably not, because I haven't touched it since 2016. Um, inside of here, okay? You're gonna see this folder, which you don't have access to. Anything that we're not using this year, I'm dumping into this folder. That way it keeps this nice and clean for you, okay? But our, all of our notes will be here at all times, so you will always have access to the printed out notes if you want to that, okay? And this, yeah, it's in Schoology, but this is just a Google folder. That's all it is I've embedded in Schoology. So it's if I click on this, it just kicks out to that same folder that sits in, school, in, in Google Drive. So you guys have access to all this to be able to take these, make copies of them, and use them however you need to the whole year, okay? All right. So in each module folder, you're going to have your targets, places you're going to find stuff, and then the lessons for that module. This particular module happens to have three lessons right now and an in-class activity that we'll be doing um, as we kind of go through. This could change yet. This is module's not completely done yet. Uh, I just wanted to have something in here to show you how what, what it'll look like. Okay, so in particular, this one's got three video lessons that you're going to look through, and then there's an activity. This activity we'll do in class or through Zoom when we uh, have for my distance learners as we kind of go through. Okay. Um, a module could have two, a module could have five, it could have six, we don't know. Um, once we are ready, then the assessment also will populate here. It's hidden right now uh, for this module also. Okay. The modules will always be listed by dates, so you kind of know, you know where we're starting. If I know the end point, my target, I'll put it there. Remember, we're really, these are new here, so this could be different as we go through. My, these dates could shift and change as time goes on. Okay. Stuff should be piped in the calendar over here for you also as we go through the year, okay? That's what we got for you. All right, that's a lot of information I just dumped on you. Um, it's a very long video. My goal as I go through video lessons is each video lesson in itself is usually under 15 minutes, okay? If I get anything more than 20 minutes, I will break the video into pieces for you not separate assignments, you might have two videos to watch in one assignment or one task, uh, but to sit down straight through and watch you know, 25 minutes of video is really hard to do without a break, okay? So usually my target is, is around 10 minutes, but they start to get longer, much over 15 minutes. Um, I like to break them into multiple videos for you guys also, okay? All right, I think I'm gonna end that here. I think we have an idea. Oh, wait, one more thing, I almost forgot. How does the week to week look, okay? In a typical week, what we're going to do is you're going to have three lessons uh, that are going to be kind of at home, and you're going to have one lesson that pertains to something you do in class or via our Zoom sessions for my distance learners, okay? Um, that doesn't mean you're going to have one module a week. It just means that that's kind of my target is three lessons that are at home, one lesson that starts in class that might cascade into more homework, and then... Um, Possibly an assessment also. So at most, you're going to have five things in a typical week that you're going to be accomplishing as you go through the, the week. Three lessons at home, one in class thing, and potentially an assessment during those weeks. Okay? So that's kind of how it looks. The assignments are targeted to be 60 minutes or less by my design. Um, for some students, it might take longer. For some students, it might take less. Okay? But that's kind of what my target time frame is that I'm putting together. All right, guys, I'm sure you have tons of questions for me. Please put those questions in the discussion forum for me, and I'll answer them in the first couple of days. And please get this done um, before Wednesday because it's due Wednesday. Thanks.